so in this question we are given a solenoid coil is made with a wire of width h so it's not our typical solenoid coil so we cannot use our typical results for the field inside and outside so before attempting attempting this question we should know that uh, field around a long wire at a distance r is mu not i by 2 pi r and for a long solenoid uh, typical solenoid b inside is mu not ni which can also be written as mu not j where j is linear charge density sorry linear current density so let's quickly see the proof that uh, b inside a solenoid is mu not j so we use ampere's law on this loop and uh, b here inside the solenoid will be uniform and its value let's say is b so only on this path we will have some value of b dot dl on these three paths b dot dl is zero is equal to mu not into i enclosed which is this current so b into l if this is the length l then b into l is equal to mu not into l times j so it is j ampere per meter this current so times l length will give us i inside so from here we will get b is equal to mu not j now let's come to our problem so this is the solenoid coil which is given so thickness of each of the strip is h and current i is flowing through each strip and radius of the solenoid is r so all these things are given in the question we are supposed to find the field inside and outside this coil so to start with we'll just take one of the coil one of the loops and straighten it so we will unwind this uh, one loop and that will look like this then now clearly this point when it's wound completely <coughs> when it comes down it will meet this point at the bottom so this is going to be a vertical line where this ends this begins so when you unwind it the height will be 2 pi r and the width of this uh, plate or let's say this strip is h so if we take this angle theta on which this strip is aligned with the vertical so sin theta is h by 2 pi r and cos theta is root of 1 minus sin square theta now again let's take the same strip and break it break this current into its components so if i current is flowing in this direction and the width of the strip is h that means the current density in this direction is i by h right so i current uh, current density is current per unit length so i divided by h so in this direction current density is i by h now j is a vector so we can break it into two components towards x and y so along x axis the current density is j sin theta and y axis it is j cos theta now i can and also this current density is same for all the strips so i can replace this by two current densities one is j sin theta towards right and one is j cos theta towards y axis so again what we are given is j in this direction at an angle which we derived from here so j at this angle can be broken into two components j vertically and j horizontally vertical component is j cos theta and horizontal component is j sin theta now when we get the vertical component as j cos theta so this situation is now similar to this of a normal solenoid tightly wound normal solenoid 
so from if you want to find the field inside so now we can find by replacing j by j cos theta so b inside is mu not into j cos theta so at this point p which is inside the solenoid which gives and j cos theta j we can write as i by h and cos theta we can write as this value so we'll get our answer this is b inside now j sin theta is current density towards right and the current is flowing on the periphery so total current crossing is j sin theta times 2 pi r so this is the current which is uh, which is the axial current so if you know the axial current then we can use this result for the field outside at, at any point so axially the current is j sin theta times 2 pi r and our field outside at a point q at a distance r is mu not ix by 2 pi r so we replace the value of ix here and we get our answer mu not i by 2 pi r now you can see that this is the same as if the i current was flowing just through the x axis so you can think of it as the i current is entering the solenoid and i current is leaving the solenoid so if you take any cross section then the i current is crossing that cross section so dq is entering in dt time dq is leaving at dt time and if you take any cross section like this then dq is crossing this cross section and in the same time dt so current entering is equal to current crossing is equal to current leaving so you need not have done this but let's learn this way also so b out we get as mu not i by 2 pi r which is same as if the i current was flowing in a straight wire instead of the coil the value inside however depends on this cos theta so this is our answer